Eves too did many things. At first, it arrived at Astro Dugu, and then it released two small rovers and one lander. And Hepsa 2 touched down the surface of Ryugu twice, and uh, uh, it made an actual crater on the surface of Ryugu. And finally, Hepsa 2 came back to the Earth, and uh, uh, it returned a capsule uh, to us. And now we have the sample of Ryugu. Now Hepsa 2 is on the extended mission, and it will visit two more asteroids. Now we have found out that Ryugu samples are really, really fragile. It's so fragile that it will not survive the journey uh, during the entry into the atmosphere to retain itself to be detected as a meteorite rocks on the ground. So it means that samples we got from, back from Ryugu is something we can only acquire through sample return mission, like perhaps the two. The fragile sample is really telling us the connection between primordial asteroid and comet. Asteroids and comets, they, we used to put them in the separate baskets, but now, learning that their connection, I don't think we will ever do that again. The more we learn about the early days of the solar system, the processes that led to the formation of the solar system, more frequently we ask the question, the fact that our mother planet is existing today, is this something we can take for granted? I think this is a really important question.